there, welcome back to stampknowhow.com. Um, today we're gonna be doing another throwdown video. Um, this time it has to do with the colors Millimambo. And we're gonna have some black in there, a little bit of silver and Mr. White. And this is for the SEO Challenges blog. Um, I'll include a link down in the description for that if you would like to enter your card. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to be using the Art Gallery stamp set. And I think I'm going to use this image here, um, kind of like a shadow effect. So we'll see how that works out. Gonna need a piece of the Golden Garden acetate that's four and a quarter by five and a half. You'll need two pieces of basic black that are three and a quarter by four and three quarters. Two pieces of basic white that are three inches by four and a half. You'll need a Melon Mambo card base that's five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter down the middle. Pull out my stamp. This is floral here. We're also going to do a little bit of blending. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here for that. Um, so on my stamp artist, I have a piece of scratch paper. You can buy this in the catalog. And there's the foam mat. Use the photopolymer stamps. And you take one of your pieces of Whisper White. And I'm going to put this in the middle. And I'm just going to mark on my scratch paper where this is in case things get moved around, which sometimes they do. I just want to know where I was positioned on here so that you can see the four corners. I'm just gonna tape this down with just a tiny bit of low tack tape it's not moving on me. We're going to do a little bit of a masking technique. I have a piece of copy paper here and I'm basically going to create a rough edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. I do want it to look a little bit not perfect. And we're going to make a little line down the middle. So again we're going to Tape these down. Look like a little wave kind of down the middle. Like I said, this is just copy paper, so this makes it Super easy, you don't need any real special tools or anything like that. I'm just gonna put a magnet on here just to hold all that goodness down here. Okay, and we're gonna use the Melon Mambo ink pad for this. Let's open that up and one of our new Stampin' Up blending brushes. This is a really juicy pad, so you're gonna wanna start up here where it's not quite so dark. And we're just gonna go ahead and blend. It's really juicy. <laughs> Have your ink on there. Pull these off. And we'll 
a nice little blended piece there. And my idea was to put a little floral image in black. I have to figure out how I want to do this. I want to leave enough room for a sentiment on the side. So I'm going to pick up that stamp, my stamp apparatus. I might need another magnet. This is a new stamp. So I'm going to pull that out real quick. I just don't want this moving on me here. Nice thing about the Stamparatus is um, if you don't get a good impression the first time, you can stamp it multiple times. Which, with this being a new stamp, it's probably not going to come out perfect the first time anyway. So I have to do it a couple times. Just want to push down on that. Yep, it's okay. No panic. Flatten <laughs> that out again. It's going to go right back where it was, so shouldn't have any issues there. So it's going to make a silhouette. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay. Maybe I want to put a little sentiment down there, so let's see what fits. Let's go with... Kind of like I'm thinking of you. black again to go ahead and do that. Doesn't stamp great the first time, it's okay, we'll do it again. Okay, I might do it one more time. Show you a little trick with this acetate. There is like a backing on it. You need to take off. Just take a piece of scotch tape and you're gonna rub that on a corner and it'll start to peel that off super easily. It's easier than trying to pick at it to get it off. So super easy way to prep that. And it is on the silver side, so just keep that in mind. But we are gonna use that side on our card. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mount all this and I'm going to use my stamp and seal for that. For the inside, we're just going to mount that.
and I'll leave the inside so I can write a message. And then for this piece, I'm gonna go ahead and this on my floral acetate paper. Not only where the black is, we're going to go ahead and put some adhesive there. silver border that's really pretty some of these elegant faceted gems I'm gonna use some of these I think Just add a little bit of bling. So there's my card. This is for uh, SUO challenges. So look for that on my blog. Um, hope you enjoyed today's presentation. Super easy technique. You could also blend this with several colors. And that would look really pretty too, like a rainbow effect. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye.